Hi, I'm Katie from Riding Warehouse, and today I'm going to show you how to wrap the Professional Choice Combo Bandage. So this is a really interesting wrap because it's a combination of a polo wrap and a track bandage. So it's going to offer the flexibility of a polo wrap, but with the support of a track bandage. And this kind of wrap can work for any horse of any discipline. So let's get started. So before we put the wrap on the horse's leg, we need to wrap it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Velcro side and I'm going to hook it right onto the hook side. And then my goal is to try to get the wrap as tight as possible. So the tighter the wrap is, the smoother it is to get onto the horse's leg and you'll have less lumps and bumps that way. Um, ideally, you wanna do this in kind of a clean area because you, as you can see, um, everything sort of sticks to the polo itself, but you can just kind of brush that off and then keep rolling. And I'm just using my leg to keep the tension on the polo wrap all the way through. So now that we have the bandage all rolled up, it's time to apply it to the leg. So the thing that you wanna make sure is that you are wrapping the bandage like this and not like so. Because if I wrap it like this, the Velcro is gonna be on the inside and you won't be very happy with yourself if that happens. So, we're gonna start off like this, and I'm making sure that the end is right in between the tendons and the cannon bone. And now I'm gonna proceed to start wrapping down. So I've found with these wraps that I have to make my spacing pretty small because my horse does not have very long cannon bones. Um, so I've figured that I go over down about six times get it till I get to the point of the elastic. Um, so I'm while I'm wrapping and keeping my spacing really even, I'm making sure that I'm putting pressure across the cannon bone and not across the tendons. And so, like I was saying, the goal is to have the elastic be at the very end once you've come around and cupped the cannon bone, or sorry, the, um, the fetlock. So as you can see, my elastic has started. So I'm gonna come around, cup the fetlock again, and now I'm gonna come back up. And I make a little V in the front, just like if I were to do a standing wrap. And now I'm gonna put maybe a little bit more tension on the track bandage part, just to offer that support for his leg. I also keep my spacing pretty small, pretty even. And the goal is to end up back at the top with the Velcro either at the front or at the side. So for this wrap, I made my spacing a little bit too big. So as you can see that the, the Velcro piece is at the back. So what I would do is I would just come back, roll my track bandage back up, and I would redo the spacing so that it'll end up a little bit better. And that's the thing with these wraps, is that you really kind of have to do trial and error to figure out how it's gonna fit your horse's leg, because they're all they're gonna fit every horse's leg a little differently. So now I'm back at the bottom, so I'm gonna make my spacing just a little bit smaller and see if I can get my Velcro right where I want it. So now my Velcro is here, which is much better than where it was. And now I can close it. So in this case, um, this Velcro piece is a little bit longer than, um, than I would like. And so I would probably just trim this a little bit so it'll fit on his leg a little better. And as you see, this is right here on the side. I'm not worried about him um, hitting this while he's in work and the bandage is becoming undone. Thank you for watching this how-to video. For more how-to videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to get these professional choice combo wraps, please visit us at ridingwarehouse.com.